Hey there, Tech Tribe. Today, we're diving into the hot gossip about Apple's next big thing, the iPhone 16. It's slated to drop in September 2024, and trust me, it's going to shake up the smartphone scene like never before. But hold on to your seats, because in this episode, we're zooming in on the regular iPhone 16. We're talking all the upgrades, tweaks, and shiny new features that'll have you itching to hit that Buy Now button. And hey, if you're eyeing the Pro or Pro Max versions, don't worry. We've got dedicated breakdowns for those too. But for now, let's get cozy with the iPhone 16. Priced at an estimated $800, this bad boy is your ticket into the Apple ecosystem. But don't think for a second that means it's lacking in the wow factor. Get ready to feast your eyes on a sleek new design, complete with a fancy pill-shaped rear camera island. And under the hood. Brace yourselves for a turbocharged experience thanks to a beefed up chipset and more RAM than ever before. But wait, there's more. We're not just talking one, but two new physical buttons. Talk about leveling up your iPhone game. Now, here's the million dollar question. Is it worth kissing your iPhone 15 goodbye for this shiny new upgrade? Well, my friend, we're about to unravel every juicy detail to help you make that call. So grab your snacks, buckle up, and join us on this wild ride through iPhone 16 territory. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay in the loop on all things tech. When it comes to design, Apple isn't straying too far from the tried and true formula with the iPhone 16. Just like its predecessor, the iPhone 15, we're looking at a familiar 6.1 inch form factor, likely crafted with an aluminum frame, tapered edges, and that signature matte glass finish on the back. While we might hope for a slimmer profile, don't hold your breath for a significant reduction in bezel size around the screen. Apple tends to reserve those sleeker bezels for the Pro models. But here's where things get interesting, the camera styling. Apple's making a switch to a vertical camera arrangement on the iPhone 16, reminiscent of the iPhone 12 series. This time, it's not just for aesthetics, it's all about practicality. The new spatial video feature demands a linear arrangement of the lenses to deliver its stunning 3D visuals. And there's more. Rumor has it that all iPhone 16 models, including the base version, will sport an action button, taking over the mute switch duties, and a fresh capture button for quick camera access. With the capture button doubling as a shutter key, snapping photos will be a breeze. Expect minor tweaks in size and weight with the usual IP68 water and dust protection and a trusty USB-C port. And if you're all about color, buckle up for a choice of six different options, including a rumored purple variant. Now onto the screen. While we're sticking with the 6.1 inch OLED display with those deep blacks, whispers suggest Apple's cooking up something special. Enter micro lens technology, poised to give the screen a brightness boost while sipping on power. But here's the kicker, no 120 Hertz promotion display for the iPhone 16. Yep, you heard it right. Despite the clamor for smoother visuals, we're sticking with the standard 60 Hertz refresh rate. Fingers crossed for the iPhone 17 in 2025. Next up, let's talk performance. Say goodbye to the A16 Bionic chip and hello to the next gen three nanometers processor, rumored to be dubbed the Apple A18. This marks a significant leap in performance, especially in AI tasks. That's right, Apple's fully embracing the AI revolution with the iPhone 16, promising optimizations that'll make your head spin. But that's not all. Say hello to eight GB of RAM, a step up from the iPhone 15 six GB. More RAM means smoother multitasking and better handling of those demanding AI tasks. And while we're on the topic of upgrades, storage tiers remain unchanged, with options ranging from 128 GB to a whopping 512 GB. Now onto connectivity. While the iPhone 16 will likely stick with the Snapdragon X 70 modem found in its predecessor, it's no slouch. But hold on to your hats, because the Pro model is expected to steal the show with the upgraded X 75 modem. With improved carrier aggregation and a sleeker design that takes up less space and sips less power, it's a game changer for connectivity. So get ready to experience lightning fast performance and seamless connectivity with the iPhone 16. Let's delve into the camera enhancements rumored for the iPhone 16. While the introduction of a new vertical camera system might catch the eye, the upgrades might not be as groundbreaking as we've seen in previous iterations. Last year, the iPhone 15 wowed users with its 48 MP main camera, delivering sharper detail and improved low light performance. However, with the iPhone 16, don't expect any major hardware shakeups. Reports suggest we'll see a continuation of the 48 MP main camera and the 12 MP ultra wide camera with no dedicated telephoto lens in sight. But don't count out software improvements just yet. 
With AI capabilities on board, we anticipate a slew of new editing features. Think smart resizing and object manipulation, borrowing a page from Samsung's and Google's AI playbook. When it comes to video quality, all eyes are on spatial video. While viewing these immersive 3D videos on your phone might not do them justice, they truly shine on AR VR headsets like the Apple Vision Pro. And while the adoption of spatial video might be slow initially, it's a step towards a more immersive multimedia experience. So while the camera upgrades might not be as flashy as we'd hoped, there's still plenty to look forward to with the iPhone 16. When it comes to audio quality, Apple's track record speaks for itself. While we anticipate another round of incremental improvements to the iPhone loudspeakers, don't hold your breath for any major overhauls. Expect the same high quality sound you've come to love with perhaps a few tweaks to enhance your listening experience. Regarding the haptics, since its debut on the iPhone 6S, the Taptic engine has set the standard for tactile feedback in smartphones. And while we're always excited about advancements in technology, don't expect any major changes in the haptics department. Apple's got a winning formula and we don't anticipate any deviations from that. So while we might not see any groundbreaking changes in audio quality and haptics, rest assured that Apple is committed to delivering the best possible experience with the iPhone 16. Let's talk now battery life and charging with the iPhone 16. While the size and form factor remain largely unchanged from its predecessor, the iPhone 15, there's still room for some upgrades. Rumors suggest a slight bump in battery capacity for the iPhone 16, with projections pointing to a 6% increase. We're looking at a potential upgrade from the 3,349 milliamp hour battery in the iPhone 15 to a 3,561 in the iPhone 16. Interestingly, this boost in battery capacity might be most pronounced in the regular iPhone 16 model compared to its counterparts. But what does this mean for real-world battery life? While we can expect some improvements, don't expect any earth-shattering gains. The 6% increase is a step in the right direction, but it likely won't revolutionize your day-to-day -day usage. About charging, could we finally see a change in charging speeds after years of the status quo? Rumors are swirling about the possibility of 40-watt fast-wired charging and 20-watt fast MagSafe wireless charging making their debut with the iPhone 16. This would mark a significant leap from the current 20-watt wired charging and 15-watt MagSafe charging. However, it's essential to take these rumors with a grain of salt. Apple has traditionally taken a conservative approach to fast charging, so we'll have to wait and see if these changes come to fruition. It's also possible that these upgrades may be reserved for the Pro models rather than the regular iPhone 16. For now, we'll keep our fingers crossed and our eyes peeled for any official announcements. So, the big question, should you upgrade to the iPhone 16? Well, it all boils down to one key factor, the impact of AI on the device. With Apple placing a major emphasis on AI, there's potential for some game-changing enhancements. We'll get our first taste of Apple's AI future at WWDC on June 10th, where the new iOS 18 operating system will be unveiled. But let's talk hardware. The iPhone 16 isn't exactly a revolutionary leap from its predecessor. While the faster chip and additional RAM may sound impressive on paper, the reality is that most users won't notice a significant difference in performance. Spatial video, while innovative, may not be a feature that immediately resonates with everyone. Sure, there is a modest 6% boost in battery life and those new buttons are a nice touch, but they're unlikely to be the deciding factor for most users considering an upgrade. And then there's the elephant in the room, the absence of 120 Hz ProMotion display. This coveted feature remains exclusive to the pricier iPhone 16 Pro models, potentially nudging users towards the higher end options. So my advice, let's hold off on making any decisions until we see the full extent of Apple's AI magic. Who knows? It might just be the game changer we've been waiting for. Until then, sit tight and keep your eyes peeled for more updates.